First of all, I would like to welcome you all in Youth Climate Report, the Youth Express. I am Shiv Kumar Das from Institute of Agriculture and Animal Science, Rampur Campus, Rampur, Chitwan, Nepal. Today, I am going to share the ideas and views related to climate change. At present, I am with Mr. Kiran Gusal and he is the President of Student Welfare Committee. So, I would like to welcome him. Welcome, Mr. Gusal ji. Thank you, Shiv Das ji. Uh, I am going to ask you some questions which is related to climate change. Okay. And, and my first question is, what are the facts on climate change that you have found out? Talking about facts, the facts on climate change that I, I have found out are erratic rainfall pattern, okay. rise in temperature, yeah. new insect emergence, melting of glacier, forming of, forming of more gla glacier lakes, and outbursts of glacier lakes. Thank you. Okay. And my next question is, what are you doing for climate action? Talking about cli climate actions, we are carrying out several pro programs, such as we are carrying out plantation programs every year on environmental days, yeah. and school awareness programs in schools near to our lo locality, encouraging people to use biomass yeah. and biogases, and also encouraging them for alternative energy sources such as solar, solar for electricity, yeah. that's all. Oh, okay. My next question is, which group or sector is most vulnerable? In my opinion, all the individuals as well as communities are most vulnerable. Yeah. But while talking about specific uh, farmer groups are more vulnerable oh. because of the erratic rainfall pattern yeah. as well as rising temperature is causing the loss in their yield. Yeah. That's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my next question is, what is the best way for adaptation and mitigation? While talking about adaptation, the best way of adaptation that should focus on vulnerable groups as well as risks, risks if, if possible should be shared and transferred and also the increasing resilience to the changing risks should be mentioned in the adaptation process. And while talking about the mitigation measures, we can use the renewable energy sources yeah. which helps to reduce the green, greenhouse gases emissions yeah. and also use of next generation biofuel or alternative biofuels are found better. Okay. And my next question is, how have you been working with the government to reduce the impact of climate change? I have been working with the government orga organization in local levels. We have been carrying out many programs on climate change on co collaboration with the village development committee district development committee oh, okay. and also recently we have organized a day talk program on climate change including the IS professionals and also the personalities from the governmental level. Yeah, okay and my next question is have you been in any advocacy, uh, advocacy and policy making process for climate action? Oh, no till not till yet not oh. I have been not involved in policy making process. Yeah but have participated, participated in many national level seminars yeah, and okay. others. Yeah, okay. And my final question goes, and my final question is, what are the messages to the world? What do you want to give the message to the world? As I love environment, uh, my message is, nature is our mother. Okay. That's our responsibility to protect slash conserve her. Yeah, yeah. If, she, if we can't protect, protect her, we have no rights to destroy it. Oh, too. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Now I am with uh, student professor Dr. Krishna Panda, sir, and I am going to uh, ask some questions related to climate change. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, my first question is Have you heard about the climate change? Um, yeah, it's very obvious. Everybody, almost everyone in the world, might have heard about this. This is a very common issue emerging throughout the world, so, especially in Nepalese context. Um, we have uh, actually felt about the change that is happening due to uh, climate disturbances and um, different other factors like pollution that is coming from d different parts of the world and we are suffering from this. Okay, and sir, my next question is, what do you think is the main cause for it? There are several reasons behind this. Um, um, 
although it's not very clear why climate change is happening. Um, even the scientists do not know exactly wha what is the reason behind this, but it is actually happening. So uh, uh, the, some of the reasons behind this might be the important ones might be uh, the increasing level of air pollution yeah. um, and like uh, disturbance of um, flora and fauna that are considered to be regulating uh, the air, filtering the air mm. um, and making the environment clean. So these are some of the important ones, mm. although there are several yeah. other factors that are still unknown. Okay, my next question is, do you have any idea on how you can fight against the climate change? Uh, okay, to fight against the climate change is to modify yourself according to the change. That is the only solution, I think, at this time. Because uh, you cannot, especially in our case, we cannot uh, stop the climate change. Mm. Um, this is a regular process, and um, not, um, um, we are not in a position to um, minimize um, the bad um, emissions because we are, we are producing a very little amount. Uh, the other developed countries that are more responsible for uh, producing more gases, um, toxic gases in the environment. So we, um, our, from our perspective, in, um, I don't think Nepali can uh, co completely control this. Yeah. So uh, what we can do is modify ourselves or change ourselves according to the change that is coming in the nature. Um, so maybe developing new varieties that are suitable for change environment mm. um, that can uh, tolerate hot weather, uh, drought or different diseases that are coming with the change uh, environmental situation. And my next question is what is the role of youth in climate change? What do you think? What the youth can do? There are several things youth can do. Yeah. Like um, some of them um, can be aware people because most of the youths at this time are educated. Um, you know, uh, they know at least a little bit about how we can clean our environment, mm -hmm. how we can um, make difference. So, youth, youth's role can be very important in educating those people in the rural areas who don't know about. Although they are the least um, uh, polluters, mm. still we can aware them and make them, um, you know, um, come with environment and uh, pr help in protecting environment, uh, help the earth um, for their children's, mm -hmm. I should say. And sir, my next question is, in your view, why youth involvement is must in climate change? What kind of involvement? Uh, what the youth uh, can do to change the climate? How youth can be involved? Okay. And why uh, youth involvement is necessary? Mm -hmm. um, it is necessary because youths are the future leaders. Yeah. So unless and until they know what is happening to our environment, what is happening to our earth, uh, they cannot, uh, you know, make good policies in the future yeah. to protect environment. Mm. So it's necessary for every youth to come and understand what is 
happening globally, globally yeah. and nationally. Yeah. So, so that in future, wherever they are, at whatever position they are, they can uh, do their best in protecting environment and earth. And sir, my final question is, what are your messages to the world? To the world, yeah. let's pollute, uh, do not pollute yeah. our environment. This is uh, um, this nature is giving us a lot. Yeah. So let us protect it, protect it. Uh, make our environment clean so that we can breath good air, yeah. um, and make it clean for our uh, coming generations, yeah. our children. And always think about protecting the earth and climate uh, environment. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much.